Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have just a random beauty haul. This is just some products that I bought here and there from some different retailers that I would share with you. And first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry about no videos last week. Um, if you've watched any type of national weather and know what's kind of going on here in Oklahoma, I do live in Muskogee and we have had um, some pretty rough weather. <laughs> Water-wise, um, we've had a lot of flooding, a lot of towns around us being evacuated. Um, unfortunately, we are still getting a lot of floodwaters from the river, um, the Arkansas River. And um, it's, it's been rough, so I just didn't do any filming. Um, it was just too nerve-wracking rocking last week and still going to be this coming week or the week that you're I'm actually filming this on Saturday and the week that you're seeing this um, doesn't look like it's going to be any better this week but anyway we're just going to talk about some some makeup and some goodies here and um, I'm going to start with this biggest thing that's sitting here so I can sit it on the floor um, you hear me talking about these if you watch my empties videos I talk about these every single month but anyways the um my makeup remover wipes that i use this i purchased from big lots and when i go in i get six at a time one of them's gone because i'm so there in my makeup vanity i'm using it so i just go in and just buy the whole little case pbq holder that they have <laughs> and it's by apple it's the original clean facial towelettes i like these they're two dollars and fifty cents a pack and they have um, 36 towelettes in them. I don't use them for removing makeup. I have used them um, for just initial taking makeup off but not for just completely just using that. I don't know how anybody can do that for just makeup removal because they don't, I have not yet to find a makeup remover wipe that actually takes all makeup off plus I'm the type of person I've got to have some water to rinse my face anyway I, I just use these in the morning when I'm getting ready to for a little cleanup and stuff like that so anyway I needed some more of those those will last me like six months to seven months anyway so, uh, TJ Maxx I found this little eyeshadow palette from Laura Geller It's the Montauk Escape face palette this was $6.99. Here's the little um, outside package of it. And here's the inner package. I thought it was really cute. I wanted to try it for $7. It had these four eyeshadows inside. And then it had a bronzer. And then a blush. And I really liked, I really liked it. So then I picked up another little eyeshadow palette from Ulta that was on clearance and didn't like it at all. So I guess maybe her formulations are a little hit and miss, I guess. Not really for sure, because this is the first time I've ever used her um, her eyeshadow formulation. So, but this one I thought was really good. So if you see this one at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I would recommend this one. I, I wore it several, several times when I after I first got it, and I thought felt like it created a really pretty eyeshadow look or eye look. There it is, swatched the eyeshadow swatched. Let me get these little wipes here. I have here. So I'm gonna swatch the blush and the bronzer too for you. Let me wipe those off. I remember after I first got this, I wore it for several days in a row. There's the the blush and the bronzer. And I'm going to swatch it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Maybe right there. Let's see. Here's the blush right there and the bronzer is right there so it's a really really light bronzer it looked dark in the pan but it's actually a really light one you could actually use that bronzer as a um, crease shade if you wanted to 
but I was I was really pleased with that eyeshadow palette so I thought oh well, I'm gonna get some more <laughs> then I was like Ugh, that other one wasn't good at all so anyway I did get that and also from TJ Maxx I did get uh, some sunscreen and this is from Shiseido it's the Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. That's an oil-free um, broad spectrum SPF 42. This was $14.99 and it's in this little bottle here. This is um, a one foot ounce. So I did get that. It is cheaper to get it there if you can find it because normally, normally, oh, here they are. I was looking for my readers. Normally it's um, $33, so yeah, it was like more than half off. So I like to find sunscreens there. So I got I did get that. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. Let me get rid of this. And I think that was all that I got at TJ Maxx. Oh no, 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 I got this at TJ Maxx. Also, this is from Ola Kendrickson. It's the Power Bright. There are six treatments in here. This was on clearance for $7. And it is these little individual treatments right here. It says three step and you do a polish, which is a scrub. And then you do a brighten and then a glow. I forgot, I've had these before but not for a while, so I thought I would try them again. Um, there's a two-in-one polishing sugar mask, and then there's a facial mask that is the 25% vitamin C concentrate, and then there is a, what is the other one? Uncover the True three-in-one melting cleanser. So you're supposed to do all three, you know, do one and then do and then three, like once or once or couple, once or twice a month. That's what I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get that out. Anyway, so for seven bucks, so I would suggest when you go to TJ Maxx, always look on the little end caps for clearance. And then speaking of my readers, I wanted to talk about my readers that I purchased. I got these at um, Walmart, and these were at my Walmart. They were up by the books. Our books are located at the front, and they had a um, stand that had readers, and these were a four-pack, and they are the Equate brand of readers, and it's called the Value Pack, and the ones I have are 2.0, and they were around, were they $12? Were they $11.96 or they were they $14.96? I can't remember. They were less than $15 though. But the reason why I wanted to talk about them is that I really, I know you can get cheaper ones like at the Dollar Tree that for like a dollar. But I feel like, because I've had those, I feel like these have a crisper um, lens on them where you can see a little bit crisper than what those do. Um, they're sturdier for one thing and I like them because here on the earpiece is it's got some grip to it. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't have a rubber grip. It's plastic but there's some grip there so when you put them on they kind of stay. They don't slide back and forth and I kind of like that, but I really like the fact that the lens portion of it, um, the focal on it is a more crisper than the ones that you find at the Dollar Tree. So, and I also like the fact that there was a four pack because I figured, you know, my husband could use these other two colors because the other two colors in here was a black and a brown. And then this one here is a purple. And then the one that I have at my bedside is a red a red color so the only thing is they didn't have any fun colors like um, leopard print or something like that so speaking of leopard print these are my new um, everyday glasses that I wear every day my prescription glasses that I just got and they have some leopard print on the side and on the front 
I would wear them, but I don't know why. These will show my ring light, you'll see. And I thought about, you know, wearing them all the time, but you can see my ring light, and I know that would be annoying. It would annoy me if I was watching someone and I haven't seen the ring light. But my readers, for some reason, don't do that. I don't know if it's because I got the anti-glare on those. But see, my readers, and maybe it's because they're at like a half frame, possibly. Anyway, let's get back to the haul. So, um, blah, 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 blah. oh, I had an Amazon order where I placed, where I, I wanted to get some new sparkly curtains. And you can't tell, but all these curtains back here are new. They're like a beige color instead of the white curtains that I had up. And they all, they have sequins all over them. And it, I thought they were going to be more sparkly, but they're not. But anyway, as an add-on, I ordered um, this, which is the, um, it doesn't exactly say what it is, but it's a, a whole, it's from Dezo, Dezo, and it's a mask holder. It's what I use when I do my sheet mask. I will, I have one of these, and I'll put this over. It's just a little silicone mask holder that fits up over your ear to hold your mask on just so that they don't slip and slide all over the place, especially if you have to get up while you've got them on to go to the bathroom or something like that. And also it keeps them from drying out as fast. And so it kind of helps your mask last a little bit longer and get a little bit more bang for your buck, especially if you're using a expensive mask that you're really really wanting to get that extra juice out of it I'm going to show you what it looks like but you would just have your sheet mask on like like always like you normally would and then you would just put this little silicone mask that looks like this right here you just put it over it and it loops it hooks on your ear like that and then it just holds your mask on so that you can get up and do things if you need to, you know. That, you're, that way you're not just bound to, you know, laying down or sitting in, sitting in the chair if you, if you need to get up and get a load of clothes in the dryer or something like that. I like to have them and the one that I have, I've used it for... I don't know, two years, three years, something like that. And you can get them on, on Amazon. The only thing with these is they're an add-on. You can't just go onto Amazon and just, just buy this. You have to purchase something else. And it can be just something, it doesn't have beauty related. Like I bought those curtains and then I was able to buy this as an add-on item. You know, it's um, $5, I think it was which to me is worth it because I use it every time I use a sheet mask, I use it. Even if I'm going to be just laying down on the bed, I still use it because I sleep or I'm always got a fan going and that has a tendency to dry out my mask. And so I don't, that keeps them from drying out. Anyway, enough about that. All right, so um, I placed a, um, an ultra order. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk about this really quick so I can get this out of the way. Um, had almost ran out of my um, hair gel, so We Dad. I ordered this off of the We Dad website because Ulta doesn't carry the the gel that I like from We Dad in the big size. They do in the small size, but not in the big size. So I ordered it off the We Dad website. Plus, they always have like a twenty or twenty five percent off discount so I wait till they do the 25% off discount and then I go through either Mr. Rebates or Mr. or Ebates depending on which one has the most cash back and at the time it was Mr. Rebates and they were doing 15% cash back so I got you know 25% off and then an additional 15% cash back so I ordered um, two of these and that will last me all year, the rest of the year, and then into, I won't have to order again until next May. But it's my Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. And it's my favorite hair gel that I have used for 
many, many, many years. Uh, matter of fact, at the time that I started using the Weed Ad was when you could only order it directly from Weed Ad or from a salon that was um, certified to sell the um, Weed Ad products. And at the time, the only place that was close to me was a salon that was um, in Dallas, Dallas, Texas, which was five hours away from me. So I would just order on the website. So I did get some of that. And then from Ulta, I think we're down to Ulta. Yes, we are. Um, my daughter has been wearing this one foundation and it always looks so pretty on her. So, you know, of course I have to find out what it is and what color it is and thought, you know, I would, cause she is so pale, like super, super white, like this white. <laughs> So I thought, well, I'll get the next color up. So she's like, well, I wear this and it's in the color porcelain, which a lot of times in foundations, I could wear porcelain or fair. So I went to Ulta to look at it here in town and I was just like, there is no way she wears porcelain. That is like almost too dark for me. Anyway, so I double checked with her and she's like, yes, it's in the color porcelain. So I ordered it. And anyway, it's the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in porcelain. And it is what I'm wearing today. And it looks like this here. And it is, um, it's almost like a serum foundation. It has a dropper type um delivery system as far as how you put it on and I'll show you how it looks on my hand and I kept asking her I'm like are you sure that this is the color that you wear I mean she's like yeah because I mean the first day I wore I mean I swear it made me look orange She's like, no, she goes, it just makes you look so luminous and glowy. So I'm like, well, I'm going to try it because that's what I'm looking for. So that's what I have on today. Then, of course, they were doing a, a special that you could get this kit. If you bought a foundation, you could get this kit for $5. And it's the Prep and Set Brightening Blur Kit. And it has the... Um, let me look it on here. The, ooh, the first light priming filter, instant complexion refresh um, primer, <laughs> which I do like this primer. So the only thing though, it seems like to me the ones that are in these tubes like this are a little bit more liquidy, runnier, <laughs> more waterier than the ones that are in the little tubes, the glass bottles that you buy full size. Oh, this one's not open. I have one over there that's open. So anyway, it's just the purple color um, primer. I don't know why I can't keep saying primer. And then it came with the Hydra um, powder that I was wanting to try. And that was mainly why I got it, because I really wanted to try this Hydra powder. Let me give you the correct name of it. It's the um, Soft Light Blurring Powder. Yes, I really wanted to try this. And I was so disappointed when I got it, because the color of it is so dark. There's no way that I'm going to be aware of that. I mean, look how yellow and dark that is. And I know this is not the lightest color. This can't be the lightest color. It just can't be. Isn't there one that's lighter than that? I know on camera it looks light, but in person it does not look this light. I don't know. <sighs> but then when I'm looking at it on my hand and stuff, it doesn't. I just don't want it to look orange. That's the problem. I've been having so much problem here lately in my in my mind, in my head, of uh, foundations all of a sudden just looking orange on me. And I don't know why. I think it's just all in my head, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, think, I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. But anyway, that was in the kit. 
and um, because I was um, because I'm platinum, they were doing their platinum perk gift. So all I had to do is put in a code, and I got a free foundation. And the free foundation that I got was the Clinique Even Better Makeup, and the color I chose is um, custard. So here's the bottle of it. This runs twenty nine dollars. So this was free for the month. Every if you don't know if you're platinum, every month they'll send out a email and you put in a code, you get a free gift, and it's different every month. And all you got to do is you spend twenty five dollars and you put in the gift, you put in the code, and you get a free gift. And it's always a full size product of something. And got to choose and I figured you know when I would put in the code there would be only certain colors that you could choose no you got to choose any color that you wanted and um, I chose custard and I don't know it might be too white but there's custard so I, and I know you're thinking in the monitor like oh, oh that is way too light yeah it could be Now, on my skin in person, it looks fine. But I know y'all are thinking, ooh. So I, and if nothing else, I can give it to my daughter because she's like Snow White. So, but anyway. But Alabaster, just, which was the next size up, just looked way too dark. Like, way too dark. Anyway. See, that's another thing I'm dealing with is I... I really, I think I'm darker than what I think I am. <laughs> um, I'm having that issue. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm darker than what I think I am. <clears throat> anyway, and then I also purchased this Fido Volume. What is this? It's a spray volume, hairspray stuff. It's just a volumizing spray that you just leave in. I've used it once and I really do like it. I think it really does give me some good volume. Um, and it didn't make my hair like crunchy or feeling gross. And I felt like it really gave my curls some volume. And I did like that. So that was, my daughter had bought this first. And that's, and I had tried hers when she got hers and I really liked it. So then I had to buy a bottle. It's expensive though. This is like $30. Ooh. Eek, 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 eek. Anyway, and with that was the free gift of this right here. This was a free gift, and it's the Stylist Recommended Product Junkie Approved Plat Platinum Members Collection. And this said it had a retail value of fifty dollars. No, this this would nobody would go in and pay fifty dollars for this. And if you do, you're crazy. You are you lost your bonkers if you go in and pay fifty dollars for this. Because it's just all sample sizes. Now, if it was all full sizes, then yeah, it would be worth $50. But, no. but anyway, it has a um, triple take 32. Uh, let's just leave these glasses on. Darn it. Extreme high hold hairspray, which I'll probably give to my daughter because I don't normally use hairspray. giveaway in a while. I, might, I need to do a giveaway. I might save this for a giveaway. Then there's the All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. Little sample sizes. Deluxe size samples. Travel sizes. And then the Redken 25 Bene Benefits One United Multi, multi Benefit Treatment. I don't know what that's for. This after shampooing, spray evenly on damp or towel dried hair. Leave in for nourishment. So that's what that is. Um, leave in for nourishment. Rinse out after one to two minutes for lightweight conditioning. Hmm. So, anyway, a little confused on what that product is for. And then from Walmart, I did find this from the Physician's Formula. 
I have been wanting to try some of this stuff and I've been waiting for them to get the little box. This was $14.88. See, I got lights flashing. I don't know what's going on here. This is going to be a long video. And I didn't think I had that much. But anyway, it's the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, and the eyeshadow duo. And it has an exclusive shade, which is the lip balm, I think. And then there's a perfume. But, and it's the Murmur Baby Butter Box. So we have the, uh, the bronzer. The Murmur Baby Butter Bronzer, which looks like that there. Oh. See that? I don't know. And then the blush okay. so that's very light I don't know don't know if that's even going to be even seen on my skin tone because that is a really light blush and I'm pretty fair complected and I don't even know if that would show up on my skin tone And then here's the highlighter, which is what I was kind of interested in. I was interested in the bronzer, because I always hear people talk about the bronzer all the time. And I've been wanting to try it. Here's, ooh, that feels wet. There's the highlighter. Is that a cream? Oh, but it goes on like a powder. Ooh. Pretty though. I'll probably like that highlighter. I can see me liking the highlighter for sure. For sure. Oh, we're about done. I promise. We're about done. And then here is the eyeshadow. Looks like there's like a shiny and a matte. Hmm. And that looks a little patchy. Let's swatch it up here. Let's swatch it together where you can see it. Ooh, those look, yeah. See that matte looked a little patchy, didn't it? But that might make a really pretty all over the eyelid shade. Hmm. Don't know. So here's the lip balm. Is this supposed to be a lipstick or a lip balm? Butter lip cream. Oh, that's like really light. Yeah, that's more like a just a tinted lip balm. Just a tinted lip balm. And then the little perfume, the Toilette Butter Paradise, which I'm sure is going to smell like something coconutty. Yeah, definitely coconutty. Whoops. <laughs> Just sprayed it at my. Yeah, that smells like that smells like a pina colada. Yep. Definitely just like a pina colada. Suntan lotion pina colada. Not too bad. But anyway, okay. So that is it for my random beauty haul. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I will be talking to you soon.